Okay, we're gonna try something different. This is the third installment of the video. Again, we're trying to clear up my dog's um, skin condition. And again, just to repeat everything, the vets don't have any answers. So I'm gonna use this Ketoconazole shampoo. Again, this is made for humans. Um, it's something that I had in the house. And um, there's a little bit left in here and I actually have a whole other bottle. So I'm gonna go through about a month of this stuff. I'm gonna bathe her twice a week and try to clear up this problem. Um, so far, I'm not having a whole lot of luck. She's scratching. As a matter of fact, she almost seems like, you know, we're not making any progress at all. So this is what I'm using. It's a 2% ketoconazole shampoo. You can buy over-the-counter ketoconazole shampoo at 1%, but the prescription is 2%. All right, so let's get started. We're going to give our dog uh, Bailey a, a bath here, and um, I'm going to report back to you again in a while, maybe a few weeks, and we're going to, um, we're going to uh, see if we made any progress. All right. <laughs> Are you recording? Uh -huh. okay, well. Actually, it comes out nice and warm at first. Okay, so this is what I was telling you. Um, we're going to start something also a topical, and this is basically Lotrimin antifungal. It's myconazole nitrate, and it's it works um, on uh, Candida and probably a couple of other, of other species of uh, yeast. And what I'm going to be doing is after I bathe her, I'm also going to be using um, this powder, and I'm going to try to use it uh, probably uh, once a day and probably bathe her uh, once a week or twice a week with the um, with the, the uh, ketoconazole shampoo. Also, depending on how this goes, I might end up bringing her back to the vet to get her on another cycle of steroids. So that way, at least I could break this, this cycle. So basically it's a powder. It's a powder. Powder. And we're going to sprinkle it on her skin. Yeah. This is mainly used for athlete's foot. But... Yeah. You know, if my suspicion is correct, we're dealing with a, a yeast infection here. And... The tip tends to get clogged up. It works very, very well in an athlete's foot. You know, probably within two or three days, the, um, the athlete's foot clears up and it stays away, you know. So what's good about this product is it not only treats the, the yeast, but it also has a drying effect also. Too bad, baby. You know, and if you notice with, with some of these dogs that have, that have uh, yeast infections, their fur is also quite um, oily for some reason. So I just want to make sure we catch the other side of her. Come here, Bailey. Okay. And we're going to get the other side also. 
to make sure I thoroughly coat her, especially the areas that seem to be bothering her. And of course under her armpits here, get that, a little on her hind areas here. And remember what I said, uh, these medications are first tested on humans, so I'm not worried about it being unsafe. I don't believe this to hurt. This is going to hurt my dog. Yeah. If I did, I wouldn't be using it. But we have to find a way of of knocking down this infection already. And the the treatments that the vets are offering, as I keep mentioning, they just don't seem to work. Put a little in her ears. This is a common place. For, uh, for, for dogs, especially beagles, because they have these big floppy ears. putting a lot in here, just a little sprinkle. Yeah. We can to put the water in here. That would, but it, what happened? There's no more. That would be funny. Alright, and let's just try her under side. Yeah. Let's do her belly. Yeah. Let's do her belly. Yeah, let's do our belly. <laughs> that would be funny. Turn over, turn over, Bailey. Turn over, Bailey, turn over, now. Turn over, turn over. There do we her go. belly. I'm gonna get she her doesn't belly wait to do her belly, wait. Because these areas tend to stay very moist, and they don't seem sweaty. I know that dogs don't sweat from here, but... I know. She's sweaty. It almost seems like she's a little bit sweaty. She's always clammy down here. I think the problem yeah, is she's, she's such a weight... Yeah, she's a little bit sweaty. She's such a lazy dog she that a lazy dog. she tends to sleep a lot and if there's any moisture from a bath or anything on her on her fur, it just tends to sit there. So that what we're going to do is we're going to leave that on her fur and then we're going to do this maybe once uh, a day. We'll do it every day for a while and we'll bathe her once or twice a week with the ketoconazole and see if that clears it up. And like I said, what I'll probably end up doing is bringing her back to the vet anyway so I can get her on a steroid again, at least to stop the itch, to break the cycle, and to give her, chan her a chance to, to actually heal up. Okay? All right, so if you like the videos, if you want part four, please subscribe, and please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, please, um, um, I'm all ears. Have a good day. Bye.